Well, will I finally be putting myself first? Stay tuned for my first impression of YSL's Myself. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're brand new to the channel and you love fragrance related content, then this is the channel for you. You're in the right place. And if you're new here, my name is Scott Aromatico. And as you saw from the greeting, and as you can tell from the thumbnail, today we are talking about the brand new 2023 release from YSL. Myself, I'm going to give you my first impression of this fragrance. So the other day I was walking around and I couldn't decide which fragrance to buy. So of course I went with Nostalgia. And if you guys haven't seen that video, please check out my latest video on this new fragrance right here. This is called Paco Rabanne's Phantom Robot Parfum. And I just did a video on this one, so please check it out. But when I bought this fragrance, they gave me this sample right here of myself. So I thought I would go ahead and review it. So I've just got the sample, but for those of you who care about appearance or what the fragrance looks like, let me put right here through the magic of editing the bottle. And as you can tell, that is the new bottle. It's long, it's sleek, it's narrow, it's dark in color. And of course, myself is spelled just like this, M-A-Y-S-L-F. So there we go. Let's get the presentation out of the way because all you guys really care about is what does this fragrance smell like? I've got my trusty sample and we're going to go ahead and spray it on skin and I will give you my first impressions of what I think of this brand new 2023 release by YSL. My first impression of this fragrance is, is it's very mass appealing. It's very, it's very vibrant and bright. I really, really like it. It's very fresh, clean, and soapy. It even has this slightly powdery nuance to it. Almost kind of makes me think with that powdery nuance that this could lean towards a unisex type fragrance. Very clean, very fresh, very soapy. Definitely, definitely like this one. Very mass appealing. This is one of those blind reach fragrances that you could wear for work, anywhere, any place, any errand and uh, you're gonna be okay, you're gonna get away with this one. It's a very refined, nice summer scent. Now, is this unusual? No, I've smelled a lot of fragrances just like this, very clean, very fresh, very soapy, very vibrant. Nothing unusual about this, but it's very, very nice. I'm not gonna crap all over this fragrance because it's very nice. You could just reach, like I said, just reach for this blindly sprayed on, and you're gonna be okay. This smells pretty good. And you're probably, my impression, you're probably going to get some really nice compliments with this just off the first impression. All right, let's go ahead and put the notes on the screen and see what's in this thing. All right, so on the top, you've got lots of bergamot. In the heart or the mid, you've got nice orange blossom. Then in the base, you have, for all intents and purposes, ambroxan. And then you've got patchouli. There are the ingredients. All right, so I think that kind of powdery, you know, almost like I said in the beginning, that, that powdery, very unisex-like vibe that I'm getting is probably coming from that orange blossom, which is really nice. It's got a slightly, to my nose, almost like metallic-like scent. And by the way, guys, this should go without saying, but I'm going to say it in every video. I am just a reviewer, entertaining, just having fun, doing what I love. Do not take my word for it. Run down to your store, run down to your local Macy's, Dillard's, and smell it for yourself. I'm just having fun making a guide for you, but it does have this slightly kind of almost synthetic metallic light vibe going on with it, but it's still nice. It's still very mass appealing. It's still very fresh. And as this starts to develop, it's becoming a little bit more sweet and a little bit more woody and dry and warm on the dry down. Yeah, definitely settling down and becoming warm and woody. I would say this fragrance is not projecting across the room. So, you're not gonna get one of those fragrances that you know is gonna make everyone's top 10 beast list. This fragrance probably projects at about an arm's length. And my guess is, I don't know this for sure, my guess is, is this fragrance is probably gonna settle down at about an hour to hour to two hour mark. It's probably not gonna be pumping after that. Although I'm not sure, I'll have to wear it a little bit more in this warmer weather. And I would, by the way, I definitely think this is a summertime, spring, summertime fragrance perfect for the spring and summer, although it's fresh enough to be worn all year round. By all means, these are just guides you can wear fragrance whenever the hell you want to, but I feel like this is just for the spring and summer kind of vibes or what I'm getting. Very light projection, and guys, 
This is for a 3.4 ounce, we'll just use that as a guide. I think you're gonna spend somewhere just right underneath 150 bucks for a 3.4, which is kind of steep. You know, YSL fragrances are kind of expensive, um, but that's kind of steep. And so, you know, because I've smelled a lot of fragrances just like this, me personally, I wouldn't go out and buy this at 150 bucks, okay? But that's just me. But I'm not saying it's a bad fragrance. I could definitely see how, you know, wearing this in the first couple hours, you're gonna get a lot of compliments. You're gonna smell good. You're gonna be fine when you go out. You're definitely, definitely gonna be smelling good. But guys, I don't think it's just a unique enough for me, a collector who has a ton of fragrances. If you guys are smelling fragrances for the first time or you're a one fragrance kind of person, you may love this one because it just smells so fresh, clean, and soapy. And I, again, I love that orange blossom note in here. It smells really, really good. And of course, you've got that Ambroxan, making it, you know, really warm, somewhat musky, somewhat woody at the same time. Very light. Now, the patchouli, it's there, but I'm not really picking up on a lot of that patchouli. But like I said, for the price, it just isn't unique enough for me. But very mass appealing and definitely a blind reach. So that's my opinion and my first impression overall of this fragrance. Again, perfect for the summertime. This is definitely a daytime scent or a nighttime scent. Perfect for the office because you're not going to offend anybody at all. Perfect really for any occasion. So guys, all in all, this fragrance is just okay for me. It's a little bit on the expensive side. I don't know if this fragrance will ever come down on discounters. If it does, then I could definitely see me go ahead and going to the store and buying this fragrance. But again, it's light on the projection. Not sure about the performance. Later on down the road, I'll wear it a couple more times and see if it lasts a little bit longer. I can't see me buying this fragrance anytime soon, unless of course someone gifts it to me. If you guys want to do that, feel free. But uh, yeah, so it's an okay fragrance. Just okay for me. Doesn't suck, but it's not great either. So there you have it. Those are Scott Aromatical's first impressions on why I sell myself. Have any of you guys ever tried this one? And what do you think? Uh, what is your impression? Do you guys disagree? Do you agree? What is everybody saying out there about this fragrance? Let me let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. And guys, if you love fragrance-related content or you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And then, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notifications off the side so you can always get these videos right away. And they'll come right into your feed. So when I do a giveaway, when I do an interview, when I review a fragrance, you know, whatever the case may be, you never know who's going to be on this channel you guys are ready for it. And then please share the video with your friends and family, guys. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope wherever you are, you're at peace and happiness. This is Scott Aromatico, out.